What's happening, everybody? My name is Zed, and welcome to Rome. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, is Rome. Uh, Rome. I I'm going with Rome. Um, Rome is a game that was released uh, February 21st, 2020, by the uh, students at the uh, SMU Guildhall. Sorry, I've got it written down because for some reason I just can't commit SMU Guildhall to memory. But the students at the SML SMU Guildhall released this game, and I'm I'm assuming at the time of its release it was for sale. The uh, Steam page says that the proceeds from the game go to uh, student development, but uh, by the time I've downloaded this, which was uh, yesterday, it uh, it's actually free. So. That being said, if you like what you see in this game, um, make sure you download it yourself and give it a play, and, uh, I know it always feels good for the developers there when people are, uh, enjoying their content, so free or, free or not free, I'm sure they appreciate all the, uh, all the plays they get out of it. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Start off by saying, like always, I have no idea what this game is about. Got a nice house, so this is my house. Sorry I'm late, D. Traffic was awful. Derek, where are you? Ooh. Big echoey rooms. It's a really nice house. Big, not creepy at all bathroom. I have no reflection. Okay. I don't really know what to expect. I don't know if I'm going to be doing any hiding or if I'm searching for clues. Haley's shopping list. Doesn't seem like I can open anything. Apart from the lightning, nothing here feels very threatening. And that's almost scarier than when, like, you can see a threat. Because I know, like, going into it, I know it's a horror game. But I, I don't know what's, what's horror about it. Okay, I can't, can't use the light switches. This is as light as the dining room gets. The architect kind of dropped the ball on this one. That is some weird art. Okay, I hear music up ahead. Okay, a little creepy home museum. What are you? This is Derek's. I mean, it's fine. It's not art, though. Okay. Oh, that looks like blood. Okay, you know what? We're gonna skip past this room for now because I don't want to progress before I see everything. God, this is a nice house. I'm thinking with all the blueprints that maybe, maybe Derek is the architect? Or maybe I'm the architect, I suppose. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's see. I just want, I want to get a- outside. I'm glad I made it home safe. I barely remember the drive. I just want to make sure that I cover every room, so I've got a good feel for the area for when things get, uh... When things get a little heavy. Okay. 
Okay, all signs seem to be pointing to the museum room here. I'm assuming once I pick this thing up is when when things are going to start getting heavy here. I don't know what this hand statue means, but I like it. Liked it enough to buy it anyways. Okay. Maybe that wasn't blood. Maybe it was just weird lighting. I tell you that the spook level is intensifying a little bit though. I don't know if it's just because I'm psyching myself up, but I definitely feel a climb in in spoof spookification here. Okay, the music seems really loud through this door. I'm gonna walk right past it. Oh no, it's getting louder that way. Okay, let's start with this. Start with this door. All right, all seems well in here. Imagine living in a place like this. Oh, some of, some of you may might not need to imagine. I have to imagine. Derek, seriously, cut it out. This isn't funny anymore. Where are you? The way the mirrors are just black, kind of tripping me out. If I'm being honest here. Floors are in this place. Derek very well could be fine. He's just in one of the hundred floors. Well, that's nice. The game is very pretty. I mean, the lack of reflections is kind of throwing me off, but I get, I get it. Like, reflections have got to be pretty GPU intensive. But overall, very pretty. That looks like something. Okay, so that's what I look like. Okay. Up the totally not spooky staircase that I don't think is the same staircase from the painting. This must be the master bedroom. The Lurking Fear and Other Stories, H.P. Lovecraft. Lurking Fear by H.P. Lovecraft. I love scary stuff happening as long as it's on a page. I feel ya. Okay, I'm fairly confident in this room I'm gonna see something I don't like. Spot for a door and tub. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm obviously supposed to see that. I just don't want to miss anything, you know? Seriously? Who moves a tub? Oh, okay, see, it is a weird spot for a tub. What the hell kind of sorcery was that? Is that something rich people have? You just have a little... little statuette you can pick up to move your furniture around? How's the plumbing? Like, what? <laughs> okay. I don't remember there being a room here. And where is Derek? 
What a perfectly normal thought. Oh, I don't remember there being a room. Must have just added one in. An entire room. What's going on? This can't be real. Man, what a handy time it would be to speak Latin, eh? Okay, not that way. Is there a... Oh, there is a run. Why do I need to be able to run? I'm hoping the run is there for my convenience. Well, it's been grand. Oh, okay. What do you mean, how? You just picked up a statue and moved an entire bathtub with it. You're worried about how an obelisk just shoots out of the ground? Okay, so I guess we're not leaving yet. Why are there moving boxes here? What's going on in my house? Your house? You had a thought, like, I don't remember there being a room here in your own house? What? <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, okay, why not? Sure. What a completely human thing to think. Oh, good, this room's open now. Wait, I was going to have a wall here when I was first designing this place. What's going on here? What in the world? Like, how nonchalant she is, eh? Walls are moving up everywhere. Oh, gee. What is happening around here? I'd be jumping out the window and getting the hell out of Dodge. This house isn't right. It's my house, but it's not my house. This isn't real, right? Walls don't just appear in a house. Okay, well, see you later. Damn it! Come on, Haley. Breathe. Maybe if you try again. Sure, why not? I tell you, I would be handling this situation much differently. <laughs> Live in a house that 90% of the walls are windows. Were those always like that? And if so, why? Why have stools at all if you're gonna put a couch where the stool should go? You know, I take back everything I said. This house sucks. It's not nice. I don't want a house like this. A stupid design for a house. Look at this couch. How many friends do you have? I don't even know enough people to sit in all these chairs. Ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. So this is a dream, right? I can deal with this. Like, to top it all off, there's no water left in the pool. I can't even go for a swim. Don't seem to have a jump or anything else I can do. I didn't make this. Who did? I will say what like something I find odd is that like they put all this time into the ambiance and all this time into the the shading and like the modeling and everything else and they've got a voice actress that does half the dialogue. So I picked this up and like there's no there's no dialogue line here. I think that's kind of 
kind of strange, kind of an odd choice. Maybe it was, maybe it was too much. Maybe they did the initial dialogue and these were all added in after. I'm just... <laughs> Where did my other sink go? How did it get replaced with this scale model? took my hand. I'm gonna walk this way. Okay. No, I'm not. Alright, I'll go this way. Okay. So they took my hand and they took his whatever that was. But at least they left the creepy paintings. Different. Oh, good. Good. Stuck in a time loop. Suppose I can't leave without looking at this. I used to have this nightmare as a kid of of this painting. How did this get into our house? Like that dream you have where you're presenting naked in front of the board. <laughs> Except this isn't a presentation, because I can do those. This is a weird nightmare version of my house that I'm trapped in and I don't even have my lucky bracelet. All right, Haley, we've got to keep moving. Hey, we're out. Hmm, guess I'll go this way then. Spent all the budget on windows there, there wasn't enough for a light. Is this a different kitchen? I'm so turned around now, I can't remember. Is that the same kitchen that we used to get to through the living room? Yeah, it is. Okay. At least they got rid of that stupid couch. Alright, then I guess up, up the stairs. <laughs> can I go into the kitchen? Oh, I can still go in here. Um... Oh, seriously? So this is just like the tub. Right? Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Easy, right? Yeah, you figured it out pretty quick with the tub. Somehow. And stone wall. No. No, locked door. Just as good. Hmm. This looks ominous. I'm going to put it back. Remember that one light that I liked? Also, all the books are upside down. Hmm. Okay. I hope there wasn't anything important in that room. I was just poking around. <laughs> Why not? It's not like anything else in this house has made sense so far. I'm with you. A hundred percent. 
makes the door spin. I guess I gotta time it so the door is upright. Okay. Alright. Puzzle solved. Frankenstein, Mary Shelley. Well, at least I'm not running away from him, right? Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Am I gonna start getting chased? This oh, is good. a dream. I should be able to just make it stop. So why can't I make it stop? Okay, yeah, I don't like this anymore. I don't like this at all. Elevator? I don't remember there being an elevator in my house. What in the world is happening? Uh, is this gonna be Frankenstein again? Alice made it through this, right? Am I going to? Through the looking glass, Lewis Carroll. Is this what is that what happened? You ate some bad mushrooms? With the cold front coming in, you better bundle up. This storm is going oh, to be all unrelenting, the water. but don't give up. It will be clearing up eventually. In other news, Main Street will be closed down this weekend for the Run for the Children 5K marathon. If you want to get downtown, you'll need to take the 32 or the side roads. On Pearl Street, there will be a candlelight vigil tonight, commemorating the untimely death of an architect who worked in that building. Investigation is still underway, but initial reports have found no traces of foul play. Oh, I died. It looks like I didn't go to the good place. Well, at least I got my sink back. Why? Nope. Okay. Just keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Where? Where can I go? The door's locked. Oh. Okay. A new way is opened. So, you know, that is a much more, much more efficient way of stooling, er, storing stools than up on the counter, at least. What are you? Okay, yeah, why not? must have fallen asleep at work right I don't remember the drive home it's all coming together now eh why is this what your afterlife looks like though lady what did you do what kind of an architect were you can't, still can't leave Oh, 
nothing in that room. Sorry, come again? Alright, not that door then. Oh. I don't want to ride on Mr. Bone's crazy ride anymore. I don't know this painting. It looks nothing like the house. It looks like... It looks like death. There's my door out, right there. Just a good run and jump. Doesn't look like I have any other options. I don't want to have to do that again. I don't think you have much of a choice. For what it's worth, neither do I. Played enough Ocarina of Time to know where this is going. What the hell is happening? You sell somebody a defective house or something? Amityville Horror style, right on. Yeah, it looks like we have to do that again. Wonder if I can get the fan. I cannot. Okay, can I get the bullseye? I cannot. Why me? What did I do? That's what I've been asking. Like, what did you do? Can't go out. Oh. Wow, that's really good for my motion sickness. I will say, like, jokes aside, I'm making a lot of jokes because I'm really on edge, but jokes aside, like, this is incredible. These guys did an awesome job with this. Aw, oh, sweet. High fives all the way down, bro. Why is this happening? I just want to go home. You are home. I do hope we find out what she did to deserve all this. Derek made this. Where is he? I just need to find him. Derek? Oh, Derek, thank God! Wait, where are you? Derek, sweetie, where are you? No! <laughs> no, I'm right here! I'm right here, Derek! <laughs> you have to breathe. Can't 
go anywhere in there. Looks like the stairs are my only option. Yeah, sure, why not? How much worse can it get? Side of uh, a fractal. That wasn't. Did that happen? Sure. Sure. Why not? What's going on? Where the hell am I? So cool. Hmm. Left or right, it's almost always right. Said almost. What is this place, anyways? It's suffocating to be inside. She doesn't sound as friendly as she once did. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. So what? Am I just supposed to wander forever? Isn't there a point to any of this? No, I don't think we'll be wandering for much longer. No way around it, eh? All right. Hmm. I get it, okay? I'm dead. Dead. So what the hell is the point of any of this? Do you want me to do something? Or do I just keep walking forward forever? I don't know what the point of any of this is, and I just want to go home. I do kind of feel bad for the lady. Like I said, I hope, hope she did something to deserve this. Oh, God. Sorry, I'm late. Wait, no. I know what happened. I know where I am. Awesome. I died in an elevator crash. I died in an elevator crash and, and Derek has to keep living without me. I miss him. The 
These countertops were supposed to be stain proof. As soon as we had them installed, Derek spilled red wine on them to prove to me that they were. <laughs> oh, we were both wrong. <laughs> Building this house with Derek it was something special. It was, it was perfect. Is Derek still thinking about me? How did he find out? Is he still living in this house? Our house? I have so many questions and no way to answer them. There's so many things that I have to leave behind and I don't want to. Am I ready to just stop? I don't think I really have a choice. I think. Okay, Haley. Just like a presentation, we can handle whatever comes next. Ready? Well, at the start of that, I didn't see that coming. I thought it was gonna turn into a... Uh, you know, she had killed Derek and she was stuck looping through something. I didn't realize it was gonna go the route of she, she died. But... Huh. That was really good. You know, it wasn't overly... Overly scary. It had its moments for sure. But that was really good. So that was Rome. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. I actually really enjoyed playing that. It was it was just the right level of scary that I wasn't uh, wasn't crapping my pants, but uh, had a good ending. I really enjoyed that. Um, if you would like to check this out for yourself, it is on Steam. Um, I'll link to the Steam page down below. It's free. Uh, maybe go give it a look. Or at least check out uh, SMU Guildhall and see, uh, keep an eye on them for when something new comes along. I guess until next time, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, leave some comments down below, and I'll uh, see you around. Bye now.